horror freaks out there, this is the Strange Monkey coming at you with another horror movie review. We're going to keep the ball rolling with the Halloween franchise. This time I'm going to be reviewing Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. Halloween 3, Season of the Witch is a 1982 horror film directed by Tommy Lee Wallace and it stars Tom Atkins, Stacey Nelkin, and Dan O'Hurley. An apparent murder-suicide in a hospital emergency room leads to an investigation by the on-call doctor, Dan Chalice, which reveals a plot by an insane toy maker to kill as many people as possible during Halloween through an ancient Celtic ritual involving a stolen balder from Stonehenge and the Silver Shamrock Halloween masks. What the fuck is going on here? The black sheep of the Halloween entries in this franchise and it's for the obvious reasons of course because there's no Michael Myers I understand that yes people I was one of those people that didn't like the idea that there's this does not follow the Michael Myers storyline but whatever I mean, that was back then I was a different person I, I had my eye it was it was okay back then anyway um, but these days it's uh, it's a cult classic you know it has a very strong following and people appreciate it these days, which is great. So, this doctor, Dr. Chalice, played by the great Tom Atkins. Tom is just like the shit. Every awesome 1980s horror movie or action movie, whatever, you'll see him in it. He's it's just, he's, the, he's a boss, okay? So yeah, Halloween is right around the corner. This old guy gets killed by this fucking dude in a suit. He's running away, you know, he's talking about how people are going to kill us and all this nonsense. And uh, the granddaughter of this guy named Ellie is, is in town and she finds out her dad is killed or her grandfather, whatever. I'm sorry, I forgot. Anyway, so Dr. Chalice says, fuck this. I'm going to investigate. They go to the town. And I got to say, the setting for this town is just beautiful. It's a nice, peaceful looking town. But what's the problem here? It's quiet. I smell something. This is sketchy as fuck. Something's not right here. And this is not your typical slasher film, as it just, you know, it's the complete opposite of the first Halloween and the second. It's not a slasher film. It's more of a mystery, thriller, uh, witchcraft type of story, you know, going on in this film. And uh, I love the tagline, you know, the, the night he came home, uh, more of the night he came home, and in this one, <laughs> the night no one comes home. That's, that's awesome. It's like, yeah. Everyone's gonna die. That's basically what they're saying to you. <laughs> All of the townspeople appear to be nervous whenever Colonel Cochran arrives. He is the head of Silver Shamrock. All uh, The famous masks that are in the area, they are one of the most popular Halloween masks that are sold very well and everybody likes them and blah blah blah. And uh, yeah, but what's the problem? These motherfuckers are evil. Yes. Lots of weird, sketchy shit starts going on, and if you talk shit about them, they will kill you. And as Dr. Chalice starts investigating, he gets closer and closer, and he reveals that these motherfuckers are trying to kill all of the kids in America. And if you put the mask on, on that night of Halloween, and you hear the awesome Silver Shamrock theme, Have a happy Halloween, 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 you're gonna fucking die. There's a scene where some kid, they're, they're, they're testing this mask out. You know, one of the guys who bought the mask, they're testing it in a room. I don't know why. And the kid's head just starts dissolving and it's all fucked up. And it's, it's insane. So, yeah, like I said before, this plot does not follow Halloween 1 and 2 at all. John Carpenter uh, does not direct this film. He works on the music, if I'm not mistaken. He's producer. I could be wrong with uh, but yeah, the music, the soundtrack in this film, just beautiful. Perfect as always. John Carpenter is just the best. So yeah, he did not direct this film. Instead, Tommy Lee Wallace directed this film. But still, this film feels like a John Carpenter film. It, you get that vibe, you know? So they decided to just do something else instead of Halloween 1 and 2 because he felt that Michael's story was over, there was no need to continue that, and they wanted to do a horror anthology franchise. So every entry would be a new Halloween film, 
and it would be a different story with a Halloween theme attached to it. Unfortunately, Halloween 3 did not do that well in theaters, and they went right back to Michael Myers, and the rest is history. What can you say? You know, they tried to experiment, and it got some backlash during that time, and the, this movie sticks out like a sore thumb, unfortunately. But like I said, now, these days, it has some appreciation, and, you know, that's pretty cool. But what if, what if Halloween was successful, Halloween 3? I should talk about that in another video, and, I, and I'm going to do that. You know, I have my thoughts. I have theories. I have ideas. So anyway, I am going to give Halloween 3 a 7 out of 10. So yeah, that's it for uh, this entry in the Halloween franchise. I'm going to be reviewing the sequels because the new one's coming out, baby. I can't wait for that one. And if it sucks, oh my god, I will be so disappointed. But anyway, I've been the strange monkey and... Oh, Jesus. Oh, i got to be careful. I've been the strange monkey. Subscribe, like on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, follow me on all that. Give your thoughts on Halloween 3 in the comments below if you enjoyed it. And as always, have yourselves a good fright. Oh no, don't put on the silver shamrock masks. You're gonna die. Eight more days till Halloween. Halloween.